Good morning guys. I hope the sound works. Left my microphone at home. It was crap anyway. So this is Sunday 15th of May and yesterday got back. Um, uh, it was probably six o'clock, 10 past six. Straight down to the King's Lock, as you probably saw in the previous video. Um, Jack had tapped the cask a few days ago, so we were ready to uh, hook it up and serve, and I was so impressed, I can't believe it. Still can't believe it now. It was great, the beer's good. It looks amazing in the glass, it's clear. Um, considering there were no findings, remember, I forgot to put the proto lock in on both occasions. Um, these findings I use, which are vegan findings, by the way, there's no icing glass. Um, the findings adjunct, and then the brow salt pea, um, put in at the point of, um, of, of um, racking into the cask has worked amazingly I think so I'm going to stick with that as my findings regime I think so yeah dead impressed uh, the feedback from the customers that were drinking it they loved it so uh, I think we've I think we just hit the sweet spot there with that one but magnificent dead impressed um, so a sellout basically they'll open today if there's anything left in that cask it'll go um, they've asked for another one going to drop that off uh, Liam at the Beer Emporium and the guys there hi if you're watching um, They've got their cask, it's tapped, it's ready to go. I'm going down to meet Liam at 12. Um, we'll do the same there, quick test, make sure that they're happy, I'm happy, and we'll get it on sale there. So hopefully the weather today will be as nice as it was yesterday, um, and people will come out for a beer in town. Uh, casking today, uh, no rest for the wicked. Still jet lagged, but whatever, gotta get on with it. Um, I've got eight casks out. Don't know how much we're going to get out of that fermenter. I think we'll get seven. If we get seven in a bit, we've got corny keg ready as well. You saw my uh, hammer exca escapades last week. So I ordered a wooden mallet from eBay, uh, not eBay, Amazon, and this turned up a, li a little tiny hammer, which might might do, don't know. But then I ordered this uh, dead blow hammer. It's got lead shot in, so it doesn't bounce when you... Uh, when you hit it and it's plastic faced, so it's kind of okay with these shives. Ordered, I don't know why, I just had a feeling something would go wrong and I didn't want to use those green shives again, they're the wrong size. Um, so I ordered some C-band shives and I ordered these from a guy on, um, on eBay at great expense, so I've got 10. But I also ordered 250 from a, uh, I won't name them, a brewery supplier, professional brewery supplier, and then messed the order up completely. Um, I'm getting photos from DHL of the roller door when I'm in Las Vegas. I'm like, we can't deliver. Well, I know you can't. You're supposed to deliver to the house. But like I told you, and they acknowledged. So we're then chasing DHL around, trying to get them not to deliver in this town, deliver in that town. They were having problems. Eventually, anyway, they turned up um, and no one was in. So. Um, they sent us a photo of one of my neighbor's feet, um, but didn't tell us which house. So we're going up and down the, the street, looking at neighbor's legs, trying to work out who might have the, the box. Anyway, I've got them, they're here. So we're good. Um, so I've got something to whack them in with. I've got the shines themselves, I've got loads of keystone, I've got loads of sanitizer. I've just set up the uh, cask wash again. We're going to blast these, although they're clean already, but I'm going to do them anyway. Um, rinse, purses, fill, Bones, label, um, and hopefully I've got another seven. They can sit here for at least a week, preferably two. Um, not happy about letting the pubs risk it any earlier than that. Uh, obviously, it needs to be right, but at least we've got some, uh, some production which will be ready in the coming weeks. So I'm going to get on with it. You guys know I'll share everything, right? Whether it goes badly or not. And uh, here's the reason. You don't let amateurs like me mess around with dangerous chemicals. I've got a pinhole, a pinhole in one of my gloves. So that's not paint, that's a caustic burn. And that's gonna hurt later, I reckon. I've rinsed it and rinsed it, uh, but that skin's basically dead in it. Oh my God, what a plonker. I've got spare gloves, but that's ridiculous. There you go. Don't do this at home, kids. Okay. 
Okie dokie. Wishful thinking, yeah? But I've got eight out. Um, rather have too many than none enough anyway. Um, all caustic. A little break in the middle to repair my missing thumb. Uh, rinsed, persidated, uh, drained and ready for filling. Um, this is how I did it last time. Again, you know, just finding it, finding out as we go along really, but common sense applies. The rules are the same as when you brew it at home. Everything sparkling clean, lots of sanitizer. So I've got a clean container here containing the shives um, and any other bits and bobs including my uh, corny lid, etc. Any other bits and bobs that are going to come in contact with beer are in there. And then what we've done here is sanitised the butterfly valve. That's shiny. This hose has been pumped with peracetic acid. That was the same uh, hose that we just used to persid the casks. So I know that's clean. And then on the end, another butterfly valve and basically a cast filling gun, you might call it. It's a right angle piece chamfered at the end beveled whatever you call it um and we can turn the valve on and off to uh, to fill the casks i'm gonna just get a separate clean bucket with more sanitizer in just to be able to put that filler because i'm on my own today well to put that fill head in between casks i don't want to keep dropping it back in there because i'm going to get bits of beer juice all over the bits so uh, which probably wouldn't be any problem but just rather have it in its own so i'm just going to fill another bucket just somewhere to rest that gun in between. And I'm going to start filling. You saw me filling last week, so I'm not going to keep duplicating stuff. Now, as if by magic, seven casks. Not labelled them yet. Get that done in a bit. Um, little sample, bang on the gravity, 4.1% again. So nice, consistent, even though we increased the volume by one more cask. In fact, and another half that's salvageable but only for only for my use here really just going to play with that uh, might stick a bit in a keg just to see about gassing it up and whatever, it won't be consumed if anyone from HMRC is uh, listening it will definitely be disposed of in the correct manner and documented um, so they're all in cask, it's actually tomorrow today um, Beer Emporium yesterday went four o'clock. By the time I left, they'd done at least 60 pints of that cask in. So uh, we're sold out. Um, two left of batch one. Uh, half tempted to chuck them out to a couple of other pubs or one other pub maybe, but I want to take care of those two, I think. If they've just received their second casks yesterday, as they did Sunday, they'll perhaps have them on at the weekend, maybe. Um, and if they sell then they're going to want a cask each for the following weekend and that'll be those two these might just be ready for them um, but we'll see, how it, we'll see how that goes um, I'm brewing next Saturday I'm going to do the same again um, I'll, I'll document the recipe and tell you a bit more about that I think next week um, I wasn't getting too into the details until I knew it was it was decent and it is so Happy to share. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice pint. Um, if you fancy making it, rather than giving me your money, I don't mind. Uh, so seven, amazing. So the place is a tip. On with the cleaning. I'm literally just chatting with Harry at the moment about this bloody thing here. Let me show you this. Ooh. Actually, let me show you this one first. Harry's done valves to death, right? But these are Sankey S valves. There's no circlip around like you see on some videos. And there's so much rubbish on these videos in the internet. Oh, you just put a couple of them here and twist it and they come out, they don't. Um, I've bought this tool, which I had assumed had some sort of mechanism to de-latch it after it was unthreaded, but it doesn't. This just unscrews it. And um, what we've got here is the unscrewed as you can see the unscrewed valve but you can get it that far it stops and inside here somewhere around and it's probably level with these clips looking at some of the videos somewhere around here there's a little barb that's catching on the inside and to get it out you've got to push down on the inside of the valve in two areas and then insert a tiny little screwdriver wiggle it around and unclip it 
and that lets you take it out once but then the problem then is next time you want to clean them you got to do it all again and i've been on this hours since i finished work now and it's 7 30 now i was here for quarter past five half past five so enough's enough now so i think i'm going to unthread them my idea unthread them um cleaner in blast them through the dip tube blast it round and, and invert while I'm doing that so that it drains back out around these threads there's enough space there to get little debris and um, and water cleaning solution whatever out and then tighten them back up again that's the plan at least I'm just going to bounce that one off Harry and see what he thinks but I can't see any other way of doing it otherwise I've got 32 casks at, or kegs see I've started saying casks all the time and it's kegs now I've got 32 kegs that are basically useless um, for another eight nine months on the uh, on the rental thingy so it'd be a shame not to use them and after got a plastics um, which I just don't like the idea of so I'm gonna give that a whirl if I can clean them I'll use them if not it's gonna have to be poly kegs or something I think Another little job for a future episode. Right. Do you know when I put that drain in? If you remember, I'll remind you of a little video. I just pushed this trailer out myself. It weighs an absolute ton. Mike, movie trailer. <laughs> um, so going into this, we've got... I'm trying to get any crap in it. Going into that, we've got a little waste pipe. Um, and it's not fast enough when I'm dumping out a lot. I need to do something proper with it. So, um, I bought the necessary bits. It's just, I find the time to do it because I've got to take that paneling off to get back to the drain again. But basically what we've got is um, this fella to go in the pot on the ground. Um, we've got this fella. Sure, hang on one sec. We've got this piece. This goes on the end of the drainage channel. You just knock knock the hole out of there. It goes onto the drainage channel and converts to this 100 mil pipe, 110 mil pipe, whatever it is. Um, so with the, this in the with this in the ground, I've got this flexible piece on the end to this piece on the channel. Um, I've got a much bigger hole. I've got a length of soil pipe as well to uh, fill in the gaps. So I'm going to try and do that one evening this week if i get the chance if not then maybe while maybe while we're mashing in but, uh, pushing it only an hour isn't it but um i'd love to have it done for the next brew day because it's a pain i'm having to wait for it to drain before i rinse things off and stuff so anyway we'll have a look at the weekend right i'm gonna try something out here i've got a keg and i've got sanky coupler um I know what I've done. It wouldn't work, right? I've just worked. I've just figured out why. There's a non-return thing in there, isn't there? I'm just trying to push water in there, and it's not flowing. I didn't know why, and it's because there's a, something in there stopping the water going in. I think I need to ping that out first. Right, hang on. That might just work, you know. It's it's filling. It's, it's squirting up through the dip tube. I'm just wondering what sort of coverage you'll get on the inside. I'm wondering where you sort of half fill them, shake them around. Um, do it that way. It'd be such a shame not to use them. It really would. Just gonna have to try it, aren't we? I mean, they've come clean and new, so I can get at least one fill. Um, and then we'll see how they we'll see how they clean. I might have to destroy one. I'll take a look inside it, which is going to cost me about sixty quid. Lost keg fee, but it's probably worth it. I think one empty cask. 
think it took five minutes from about a quarter full. So we can work with that. We can work with it slowly, but at least I can use them. Right, I'm happy with that now. Whew, a bit of a relief that, to be fair. A few quid spent on uh, on those each month. I mean, they're cheap individually, but to have 32 of them not doing anything would be a bit annoying. Right. Tank is cleaned. That tank's cleaned, ready to receive uh, the next bruise. Um, I'm going to tidy up. And then I'll give you some more thoughts. All done for the day. Still Monday. Makes a change. 9.24. Um, and we're all clean, tidy. Everything in here is, uh, has been cleaned. A few things we'll need sanitizing before we use them because they've been open to the, uh, the air. But pretty much everything's ready to go. Tanks full of water. Mash tun's ready. Copper's ready. Pump's clean. Plate heat exchanger clean. Both fermenters clean. Got loads of malt, loads of ingredients, ready to go. So uh, looking forward to Saturday, get that next brew on. I'm gonna do the same again, but this time I'm going to make sure that um, I explain the ingredients as we go and the recipe. Um, a few people have asked me um, about the beer itself and I was a bit vague last time because I, I wasn't quite sure whether it would work or not at, at that scale, but it has. So I'm happy to share if anyone wants to have a go. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in the next video at the weekend uh, if you want to catch that one uh, but pretty much yeah pretty much done everything clean and tidy there's a lot of cleaning involved in this and um, I'm beginning to wonder about if the first upgrade should be one more fermenter or once we're rolling properly of course either one more fermenter or proper pipe work rigid pipe work because I'm kind of sick of 
having to glove up to undo RJTs with hoses that have got caustic in them and then draining them out and then putting another hose on and just a constant cycle of coupling and uncoupling stuff so I can get access to pumps. Um, it's adding, it's adding hours and hours to the clean up time. So um, you don't know until you know, right? So that's, I think is a necessity. Otherwise I'm gonna be here far, far longer than I need to be. Um, the other thing was, I think, you know, this channel was, um, it kind of happened accidentally, didn't it really? The, the first video was really just aimed at a handful of people and then um, <laughs> I re-picked it up and uh, next thing I know I've got quite a few hundred people watching and uh, I've, I've really grown to enjoy doing them actually. From a start I've been really, um, you know, anxious about it and self-critical and worrying about the cringe factor. I don't really care now. I know I'm rubbish, but you seem to, you seem to like that, so that's okay. Um, but what next? You know, we've sort of gone through the process of getting the video up. There's still work to do on this side, behind where you are. Um, there's still work to do on this side. We're gonna get the floor done, maybe get the little tap room done, so that, you know, that should be some interesting updates. But, you know, do you wanna see a brew day every week? Do, you know, I'm gonna have different people in helping, so there's gonna be an element of, um, of something interesting there. Um, there's plenty of brew, if you wanna watch brew days, there's plenty of them on, on YouTube. Um, just trying to find uh, find the right direction if I'm going to carry on doing the videos, and I'd like to. But if I'm going to carry on, you know, what should I be looking at really? Is it more the technical aspect of making, fixing, repairing? You know, there's at least one other YouTuber that does that very well. Um, is it more about you know the recipes and recipe development, and maybe following the following the beer to the pubs that sell it? Um, you know, more. Uh, more human content, I don't know. Um, I'd love to have your thoughts on it. Um, as I said, I, I would like to carry on doing them, but um, if it's just more of the same, it's on YouTube, then I wouldn't really be adding any value. So, uh, you know, let's try and think of something that's uh, entertaining and, um, and interesting for everybody. That's about it, I think. So uh, I will catch you at the weekend, brew day three. Um, it's gonna be Murgy Straight. Back to the original recipe. I'll tell you more about that at the weekend. Cheers. Bye.